Mexico. What do you say then? Banana? Banana, mango. Oh. Chinola. Nice fruit. Fresh. Uva. Oh. China. Orange. Manzana. Oh, apple. Red. Oh. Pera. It looks nice. <laughs> Very fresh. Naranja. That, oh. So orange. Yes, sí. Quiere comprar. Give me some hot sugar. What? Eh, ¿Cuánto cuesta? Oh, oh, oh. Two. Oh, two, two, two. Two. Okay, okay. Pesos, two. Okay, okay. Thank you. Yo te voy a llevar a mirar el país. Te voy a llevar a mirar el país para oh. que vea todo lo que hay aquí. Okay. Pues, oh, pues sí, no le conchi. Sí, Santo Domingo, nice, oh. bello. Yes. Sí, te voy a enseñar ahora. Ok, let's go, let's go. I'm just there to know. Mira, nuestro país está ahí, República oh. Dominicana. Oh, Santo Domingo. Sí, Dominicana. Dominican Republic. Nuestra bandera. Oh, una flaga. Nice. Esos son los indios. Indians. Antes, ah, antes, a lo primero. Slip, 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 slippery? No, indio. Oh, Indian. Sí. Oh, oh. Colón. Oh, Cristóbal Colón. Colón. A la República Dominicana. Oh, ok. La Santa María. Oh. Santa María. Oh, la María de Cristóbal Colón cuando llegó a Santo Domingo. Oh, wait, oh. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Caña, caña. Oh, okay. Yes, sí. Santo Domingo, mucha caña. Okay, nice. Comida. The mic added, mic. Plantas. 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 Mira mi vestido. Oh, this is dress. Oh, this is your dress. Oh, okay. Nice. Oh. Playas. Beach. Yes. Oh, many beaches. Oh, yes, look nice. Oh, coconut, coconut water. Oh, fresh, fresh. Make your back this strong. This is heat. Oh, a lot of, lot of rivers too. I will like to go there too. Strange, strange. Oh, waterfall. That's beautiful. Aquarium. Aquario, donde vemos muchos animales. Oh, boy. That's that's it's great. Oh, oh, yes. Who is it? The most. It's beautiful, Santo Domingo. The zoo. No. Oh, oh. The bottom. Oh, monkeys too. Big monkeys. Chimpanzee. Nice, I will love to be there in all those places. <laughs> I'm messy. Oh, wow. Uno, dos, tres, mira, lindo, lindo. Very nice. It's beautiful. Este es Faro Colón. Oh, the Faro Colón. It's, it's, it's something beautiful. But it, it, look, it look like a coffin. Teleférico. <laughs> oh, the teleférico. Oh, that's in, up the mountain. Yeah. The metro too? Moderno, algo moderno. Oh, it's a, a tunnel. Oh, that's that's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. El, 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 oh, oh, oh. Santo Domingo is very beautiful. I mean, I mean, like to be in all those places. Bonito, bonito. Mira, 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 m
Ça s'est adapté. Je Mesdames, Messieurs, bon après-midi bon après et bienvenue à Télé Image. My name is Denise Bossejo and I have with me Sarah. Comment ça va? Ça va très bien, merci. Et vous, toi? Ça va bien. Okay. It is a pleasure for us to present this program with you, so let's get started. Um, today's broadcast, it's going, we're going to talk about um, a very special country called Haiti. Um, it is, um, I know, I'm aware that most of what you've seen on TV, internet, or other media, is you are usually negative things. But, but I, I will have you to know that Haiti is by far much more than that. Um, We're going to present to you today um, what other media have failed to, to show you. <laughs> yeah. 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 The other one, right? This is what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Haiti occupies the western part of the island of Hispaniola, the major island of the Caribbean which it shares with the Dominican Republic. Haiti occupies about 27 million, 27,750 square kilometers with a population of 9.7 million. We have two official languages, the very romantic French and the creative Haitian Creole. Our major export commodities are mangoes and coffee. The Citadel La Tierra. It is a massive fortress that sits on top of a mountain located in northern Haiti. It was designated by UNESCO as a World Heritage Site in 1982. It was built by Henry Christopher against French attacks. It is the first monument to be constructed 
by black slaves who had gained their freedom, and it has become an icon of Haiti, the most popular historical attraction. Le Palais Sans Souci, which is translated as Carefree Palace, is another beautiful architectural masterpiece built by Henry Christophe. This was his royal residence and also located in northern of Haiti, close to Citadel La Ferrière. In 1842, a major earthquake destroyed a considerable part of the palace and it was never rebuilt. But it stays as one of the most famous landmarks in Haiti and was also designated by UNESCO as a World Heritage Site in 1982. The Iron Market. It is an iconic architectural historical landmark in Haiti located in downtown Port-au-Prince. It is a trading place where you can find literally everything. It is the commercial center of Port-au-Prince. It was built in the 1890s and was severely damaged by the earthquake on January 12, 2010. This picture shows the renovated market, which was one of the first buildings to be restored after the earthquake. Yeah, that's where my family saw. <laughs> The Blue Basin is a breathtaking, isolated, and unique waterfall in Haiti, located in the southern part of the country, specifically at Jacmel. It is a national treasure for Haiti and a must see for any visitor. <laughs> which means waterfall. Located at the center department of Haiti, it holds a cultural significance in the country of, for both Catholic and Buddhist practitioners. Haiti has a lot of waterfalls, which we can't show you all. Here's another one. The four. So much you have. Picking up the four. Yeah, picking up the four. Mm -hmm. sure. Botanical Garden. This garden is located in the southern part of Haiti. It was established to conserve Haitian biodiversity and also to develop an environmental program to educate the population. This is the same. It is the main city's park and also the seat and seats the housing of the National Palace. It has become a home to about 15,000 people after the earthquake in 2010. And up to now, there are a few people who still live there. And these are a couple of pictures. Neg Mao. This statue located in Champ de Mars was created to commemorate the slave result revolt and to the French. It shows the black man with a machete in his right hand and a conch shell on his left. They use the conch shell to assemble the people. Basically, it is an iconic symbol of freedom to all Haitians. Pumpkin soup, this is the last thing we're gonna talk about. It is our national dish, our traditional dish. After the independence, the 1st of January, 1804, the only thing we had available at that time was pumpkin. So pumpkin was prepared to celebrate that momentous occasion. And it stays as a tradition. Every 1st of January, all Asian drink pumpkin soup. Hmm. It is made almost the same as most Caribbean soup. We add all kinds of things, plantains, potatoes, vegetables. Some people um, add macaroni or spaghetti. And if you're not vegetarian, you can also add meat. <laughs> Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for your attention this month to the end of our program. Thank you.
And for the more active people, you can go snorkeling and kayaking and all kinds of other things. Or just relax on our secluded black sand beaches and just lie out with your friends and, and, and the residents and so on. Lots of wonderful things to do in Montserrat. That's our national flag with the coat of arms inserted right there. We're very proud of it. Let's go. 
and that's our national anthem. The, 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 the national anthem, of course, we used to sing it right here in this land uh, um, some time ago. God save our gracious queen, long live our noble queen. God save the queen. That's our national anthem still, and we're very proud of it as well. This is the national dress for the ladies. Uh, Sister Murphy just told you about why she's not wearing that. I'm but this is the national dress that I'm wearing for the men. We're very proud of it. It's lovely dress. This is our national bird. The male on the left and the female on the right is called the Oriole. Oriole. And we, it's, it can be found, still found right there in Montserrat. It has been preserved despite the, all of the volcanic activity and so on. This is our national flower, the Heliconia. You have this color and you also have the red heliconia that you will see um, towards the end. It's a national flower. Um, well, if you have not yet tasted of this, you don't know what you're missing out on. I, like, I hear a lot of other people talking about goat water, but Monza goat water is something out of this world. I'm telling you. So, you got to have an opportunity to taste of it. Goat water. <laughs> Now about the volcano, um, now this Absolutely. is what they have built, we have built uh, to help to monitor what's happening in the hills with the volcano and this is called the Monsat Volcano Observatory where all the scientists and all the, 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 the seismologists and those people uh, have all the instruments and so on and equipment monitoring the volcano to help to try to keep us safe. This is inside of the volcanic uh, of, of, uh, volcano observatory. Let's go. So yes, go ahead. The Sufri back, back. The Sufri High Hills volcano is constantly monitored by the Montreal Volcano Observatory, better known as the MVO, in Flemings. As well as monitoring the volcanic activity, the MVO provides information on the volcano to the general public. The MVO Interpretation Center is open Monday to Thursday from 10:15 a.m. to 3:15 p.m. There are poster displays explaining the techniques used in monitoring seismic or earthquake activity, gas emissions, ground deformation and environmental impacts, and dramatic videos showing including a synopsis of the activity and examples of the recent events on the volcano, along with touchscreen kiosks and volcanic artifacts on display. And you might have heard about pyroclastic flows. It's a very dangerous thing to get close to, but it's very spectacular when you stare far off and just admire the beauty and the wonder of it. Yes, attractions. You know, we have lovely, lovely beaches uh, right there in Montreal. This is one of them, cars, but we also have Little Bay. And we also have what we call Runaway Dot. Runaway Dot. Very interesting situation here. Look at this. And by the way, it's, it's right there, but we are told there's a legend that says, and, and, and it's, it's, it's true. <laughs> uh, as once you go to Mansa, you have to make sure you drink from the runaway gut. Uh, drink of the water from the runaway gut. Once you drink of that water, you are sure to return to Mansa again. Right? So uh, that, that has been proven to be so. Right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, and um, Runaway Gut is so named as it was used as the escape route in 1712 for the French when they were driven off the island once again by the English. Of course, you might not have known, but the French had uh, on two different occasions occupied Monza for six months in, on one occasion and 12 months on another. So one of the times when the English were taken back over the island, this is the route where the, 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 the French were able to escape. Um, and then it says the gut also became of prominence when it came to the rescue of Montrachans in 1965. In that year, there was an 11-month drought and many standpipes stood empty. People from the north traveled to the gut to collect their water. And, uh, okay, we have had lots of um, different uh, hotels in Montreal, but when, most of them were in the unsafe zone, which is not being occupied back, now. Go back, go back. This is one of the new ones that has been built over in the north. It has been built you know, under 10 years ago since the volcanic activity. So this is where you can stay when you go to one of the places where you can stay when you go to Montreal. But we have lots of um, very hospitable people there, so you can find someone you can stay. In fact, I know that um, uh, one of our Kittishan elders is right now spending some time in my island, and when he comes back, he will tell you more about the wonderful things and the wonderful people that he has discovered. Let's go. And getting there, of course, 
Uh, we have the ferry, but we also have air travel now. One set airways and another airline where you can get through, you can go through Antigua and you get there. You can get the ferry from Antigua and no advance bookings required, or you can travel aboard the normal airlines, two different airlines we have to, to take you there. Let's go. And then we have the Oyo again, perched on the Heliconia. Let's go. And this is our lovely island, geographical map there. Uh, Monsa welcomes you. See you there. Wherever I go from shore to shore, I sing your praises evermore. Oh, Monsa in the Caribbean Sea, I love you eternally. From shore to shore, I sing your praises evermore. O Monserrat, in the Caribbean Sea, I love you eternally. Thank you. I am located on the northeastern coast of the continent of South America. Bordered by the Atlantic Ocean on the north, Brazil on the south, Venezuela on the west, and the Suriname on the east. This is the only English-speaking country in the continent with 13 countries. The size of Guyana is 83,000 square miles. Our motto, one people, one nation, one destiny. Meaning, there are six races, Something's but we are all one. Something's no, well, you cannot see with the A here, is here. But we have people who will represent us. We have first the Amerindians, of whom we still have nine tribes living in the interior, and the followed by. Demonstrating. Then we have the Africans. Our African ancestors came from Africa during the slave trade. They were taken there by the Europeans, followed by the Chinese and the Indians. There we have our Indian wear. Okay, and so we have, we also have three major religions, Christians, which we have many denominations, we have the Muslims, and we have the Hindus living together in unity. This map here is displaying the three counties of Guyana. We have the Essequibo, Burby. we have Demerara, and we have Burbies. Sit back, relax, and just learn a little bit more about Guyana. I, I thought you said you don't want any, so. Land of many waters. That's just so. to name a few. You want we have the Burbies River, we have the Demerara River, and the Essequibo River which is 628 miles long and the mouth, yeah. 20 miles wide. You want to take pictures? We are the land of many white What's your mommy? What's your mommy? What's your mommy? What's your mommy? Yeah. Come one, come all, oh sweet Diana. Come see how beautiful we are. Yeah. I am Diana. The national resources, gold, diamond, minerals, bauxite, stone, sugar, rice, corn, harmony. Come on, come on, pay a visit to the piano. See, taste, <laughs> and enjoy the <laughs> of our country and its national resources. You all are invited. I am Guyana. We are Guyana.
Yeah, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Kayana, my homeland. The land with the largest or the highest one drop falls in the world. The mighty Kaicho waterfall. The, la the land with the largest lakes. More than 28 feet long. But don't be scared. For you to encounter that, you have to travel more than 40 million acres away from the capital city. Guyana, the land with the largest wooden structure for worship. Guyana, it's the land with the largest river otter. Now, this is, don't be scared of him at all, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> you will not encounter him. Guyana. No, we can't be saying sink it. No, he is near me, but you don't worry about that at all. Welcome. Wow. Welcome to Guyana. <laughs> <laughs> now, Guyana, one of the unique things about Guyana, as I would say to you, it is the country with the fastest growing seven day Adventist population in the Caribbean Union. We have more than 60,000 seven day Adventists there. And that is remarkable. And more than that, of course, we have the most seven day Adventists of all conferences missions or regions in the Caribbean Union. So that is a remarkable feat that we have there in Guyana. So ladies and gentlemen, you can come to not an island, but come to the mainland territory of Guyana. And remember the Bible says that the islands will, you know, disappear in the last days. So you can just journey to Guyana and we can give you a safe haven there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we're going to just sing one of our national songs for you. Now, these videos, I have that you can see at any time. So, you're going to have an uh, experience of it. Alex, you're saying something? <laughs> All right, good. All right, we're going to sing a song, Oh Beautiful Guyana, Oh My Lovely Native Man. One, two, three. Oh, beautiful Guyana, oh, my lovely native land, more dear to me than all the world, thy sea wash sun is friend, or dove upon the bird is looking out upon the deep, the great Atlantic into a fury or at sleep at morn at noon or better in the crimson sunset glow I love thee